everybody. Welcome back. Jim, what Dugan thinks. As you can see, I have a whole desk load of shit here. So I guess we better get started, huh? Let me stack off a bunch of this. Let me start with last week. I had a live stream that went for about three minutes and some change before YouTube shut me down because I picked up a gun. Which is fine. They have their rules. I get it. At any rate, we won't dwell on that. I know you guys don't want to look at my mug, so we're going to switch this. Make sure we keep the mic going. There we go. So, first of all, I picked up this Holosun, and it's a red dot. And let's see if I can get it open. This is for my MP shield carry gun. And the reason I got it was because I wanted to start having a red dot on my gun, by God. This video may go a little long. I got a lot of stuff to look at that's coming in the last week or so. Anyway, this is a little tiny baby. As you guys can maybe see. Let's see if we can get that focused. She doesn't want to focus, does she? I don't know why. There it goes. At any rate, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny thing. First Hollison I've owned. So we'll see how that does. My other gun was dirty, so I decided to get a new one. That's kind of the truth about it. But actually not. I uh, do some web work for somebody here in town. They owed me. So I picked up this MMP. That's a little bit newer model. Holds a few more rounds. And I'm assuming on the video here, I can actually handle and hold. So anyway, we'll get the red dot on there, and we'll show you guys this at the range once we get it going. That's basically one of my most favorite carry guns on the planet. So let's start with this baby right here. Let's come in, make some adjustments. Zoom you guys down a little bit. And there we go. Stitch, which I cannot open very well. And I'm not going to lie to you guys. This is the Chinese knockoff. And it's actually not bad. At all. Uh, I'm not able to open it very well. But I think it's going to break in and be just fine. But it is a generic or knockoff. But I did break down and get the real deal. And it's not a stitch, it's a SOCOM. Bravo, I think is what it's called. And I've got to tell you guys, the difference in the two is night and freaking day. Unbelievable, the quality of this knife. I couldn't be happier. I mean, I just love this knife. It is just incredible. Just blows my mind. Drop shutty. I mean, centered up. I mean, this thing couldn't be prettier. Most expensive knife in my collection now, gentlemen and ladies. And that's okay. This... It's going to be fun to play with, and I wanted to get one in my hand, and I'll probably get one of the real ones after dealing with the quality of this one. I have a lot of real Microtech out the fronts, and I'm real happy with those. This is a Tucson that I picked up. I don't remember the name of it, but man, is it drop shutty. Of course, a blade this size, it should be, right? Dead centered. Beautiful knife. I can front flip it, no problem. Rear flip it. It's got a big finger tool on the front. 
a lot of goose on there. Ooh, there's a lot of oil. Marcarta, I think it is. It may be G10, actually, now that I look at it. But at any rate, fun night. I picked up another Benchmade knockoff. I bought one of these earlier in the year. And you know what this is. This is an Arrows. I mean, this thing's so close, it's not even funny. And the reason I bought the second one is the first one had a chip in the blade. I haven't had a chance to try to sharpen it and fix it. But I wanted to play with one of these. I'll be damned if I'm going to give Benchmade the kind of money they're looking for one of these. Stupid. This, let's see what this is. Oh, okay. This is actually a real deal. Uh, Kershaw. I don't remember which one this is. and I don't have it in the right box. What does it say there? Can't read it that good. Can't read it at all, to be honest with you. Well, maybe you guys can. I can't. Let's see. Be that way. And maybe you guys can read it because I sure as hell can't. But I've got several of these now, several of the launches or whatever. It's not in the right box, so don't think that it's not the real deal. KR CRKT, my bad. I don't think I've had this one out yet. Oh, yeah, I saw this on some of the reviewer guys, and I thought it was a really nice night. It comes flying out of there. It's got some inlay here, my Carta. Centered up beautifully, no problem. The tent strong on it. It's a frame lock, but it's in behind this inlay so you don't get your hand on it as easily as you do a regular frame lock i think this is a cool knife you really got to get on it to uh flip it but feels good we'll do a little bit more of a review on these more in depth but not a review but spotlight overview i don't do reviews guys i don't know enough about it to do that I'm just showing you a haul basically today. Oh, crap, I need to get inventoried and put up. CJRB. Let's see what we got here. I don't remember. Oh, yeah. Cleaver. I'm a sucker for the Cleaver style knives. And I can't open bags anymore or anything with the crap. Oh, yeah, that's got that different kind of lock on it. I forgot what this is called. Whoops. You all see the lock mechanism on that? It flips out kind of weird. And it does shut all the way. But you see how this is built? It's a little notch in it. Right, right here. I don't know that you got a certain way you're supposed to launch it. I haven't figured it out yet. Cool knife, though, I got to say. I'm not going to put it back in the bag. Bags and I don't get along. Let's see here what we got next. Uh, if I remember correctly, G-Ball turned me on to this knife, and I'm glad I got it. It's from Off Grid, and it is a beast. I mean a beast. I don't even know what this thing weighs. This one probably weighs quite a bit. Let's get a look at it. Get my finger off the scales would help. 
What do y'all think it weighs? 5.85 ounces. She comes flying out of there. Look at this jimping on the top. It's cool as crap. It's a flipper only, and I'm fine with that because that is the best way for me to open a night. And, I mean, you hear how much this comes out of there? I mean, just listen to this. Comes flying out of there, doesn't it? Cool as crap. I like this one. It's a beast. And that end here, as you can see, is nice and thick. There you go. Centered up. Cool knife. Damn good work knife. Of course, all mine wind up in a cabinet. I got a new cabinet I'm going to show you guys this next few weeks. Here is a concept. And I really don't remember what's in here. Another big ass knife. Look at the back stock on that. Thing is thick, centered up, comes flying out of there. I love this blade shape. Drop shetty, liner, no, frame lock. Cool knife. What is the name on this one? Can you guys see that? Let's see if we can get that to focus. My camera skills are horrible, aren't they? There it goes. I can't read it. I don't have the right glasses on. It's got some type of carbon fiber in it. Um, cool knife. I like their pouches too. Do you guys have just a cliffery of boxes stuck everywhere? I do. I mean, I've got them stuck everywhere you can imagine. I need to just get one big box and put them all in it. I'm missing a knife that I wanted to show you guys. Look at this bad boy, guys. This is a giant mouse. And I had no idea giant mouse made knives like this. I think I've already done a video on this, but this thing is nice. I mean, super nice. I mean, probably one of the nicest knives I got for the money. And I don't remember what I paid for this. I want to say 150 ish. It is a liner lock, titanium scales, wire pocket clip. Lanyard hole made out of brass, I think. Lines up beautifully well. I mean, this knife is just unbelievably cool. Nice milling. Giant mouse. Who would have thought? I was not aware of them making knives like this. This thing feels really good in the hand. No hot spots. I mean, I know it's going to be a safe queen, but let's just see something here. Do you think it's sharp? Get some paper. I think it might be. Oh. That's crazy sharp, isn't it? Cool. Well, 
I think that's about all the knives I have that I wanted to show you guys. So at any rate, I want to thank you guys for looking in. Darn, I haven't had some videos here lately. I've been a little tied up, but I did get put in YouTube jail. And that was interesting. They slapped my wrist, not for nearly as long as I thought. I can go live now. So that's not going to be a problem. I just need to decide to do it again. I got to decide what direction I want to take my channel because obviously the live stream is not going to work with the guns, even though bigger brands than myself can live stream and show a gun without getting in trouble, which is nice, I guess, but I don't have that kind of clout. So I can show knives, though. And that's not a bad thing. Come see me again, please. Like and subscribe. An old guy needs some likes and subscribes. I'd like to get to a thousand before I croak. Can y'all help me with that? <laughs> Jesus Christ. But I do appreciate everybody that has. And I appreciate everybody that looks at my channel. Thanks again. Dugan, thanks. Have a great week.